Uh, it's my very great uh, pleasure to welcome a uh, changing personnel here. We've got uh, Tavo Falke, um, who's going to talk to us about the best wildlife holiday seasons in Estonia. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, like uh, already mentioned, I'm, I'm not my because I, I, I tried in the morning, but it, it, it didn't work out. So, uh, I'm Davo. Uh, uh, Matt is a good friend of mine, uh, but unfortunately, at, on the last moment, he couldn't come here. Uh, Matt is, is mainly um, dealing with uh, nature photography, bird photography. Uh, and the photographic tools while I'm very keen further and, and bird high. So uh, I have been birding for the last 30 years. Uh, they haven't found any medicine which would help me <laughs> to avoid birding. So probably uh, I will continue uh, this madness. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, it's more interesting to hear about Estonia than to talk about myself. Uh, Estonia uh, is a ver very small country, of course, uh, only 45,000 square kilometers. Uh, but uh, uh, although it's small, uh, it's also a very diverse country has a very big variety of uh, different habitats, uh, very long coastline. Uh, uh, we have also over 1,000 islands and islets, uh, which makes uh, birding really uh, interesting and uh, the landscape is uh, really atmospheric. Um, about one third of Estonia is covered with uh, swamps and ports, uh, and about half of the country is covered with woodlands and forests. Uh, uh, we have uh, several national parks and loads of nature reserves uh, where you can still see a uh, lot of uh, unspoiled nature, and even outside the nature reserve. Like if you are birding in simple farmland, uh, it's completely different birding volume which you can see yeah, in England. Even if you travel to North England, uh, you you might hear things like yellowhammers and skylarks, but not on the density you can you can see uh, in in the Baltics. Uh, and one thing what really makes birding uh, and wildlife watching uh, interesting in, in Estonia is how the seasons uh, are changing so we can have uh, uh, several um, uh, different seasons uh, so uh, we have very uh, uh, nice winters. Uh, last winter we had again very uh, good amount of uh, snow. Uh, uh, when uh, uh, there is uh, actually early spring, which is my favorite uh, uh, time of the year, and all this uh, uh, snow is melting. Spring migrants are coming, first flowers are starting to blue. Then within a few hours you can see massive uh, difference. Uh, then there's a proper spring, uh, and everything is, is green. Uh, there's a very diverse uh, uh, time for birding. Um, and also very good time uh, to take photos and to watch mammals. Um, uh, and uh, uh, summer season, uh, which is uh, 
probably uh, best if you want to uh, do some botanizing or you are keen to see butterflies, dragonflies. Uh, and uh, one of my favorite times of the year is definitely autumn. because of the uh, visible migration of, of birds in autumn, um, especially for sea ducks and passerines. That's a place to be in Europe. Uh, so you just like half a million jackets in a day. You can see it anywhere in the UK. Very unlikely. Uh, and then we have additional season, uh, which is called, uh, called uh, fifth season. Uh, this is when uh, we have big floodings. That happens uh, when we have had a lot of snow uh, and there will be rain and hot, uh, warmer weather, weather coming and all the forests and rivers are causing nice floodings and uh, uh, especially the Solomon National Park is famous for it. Uh, where you can all see it. Uh, we have preserved wildlife uh, relatively well compared with many other countries in Europe. So we have still nice brown bear population, around seven, eight hundred brown bears, uh, especially from the hide. Uh, they are pretty much guaranteed uh, mammal to see, but we have also high density of lynxes, which have become realistic to see now. Uh, I've seen six links this year. Um, we have 200 wolves. Moose is almost every birding tour. Uh, if you spend four or five days at least uh, in Estonia, you see some, uh, some moose. Uh, we have a uh, good population of uh, forest grouse, capricades, hazel hen. Uh, several owl species to see. There's a 10 month owl in the middle there. Uh, but also we have Ural owl, uh, pygmy owl, and in, especially in autumn uh, you can witness uh, roosting flights of thousands of uh, rains. Uh, this is uh, now pictures from Soma National Park. You can see uh, what happens uh, when the fifth season comes um, uh, and during this season especially the canoeing is really uh, popular in this national park they do it even under the forest uh, 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 some smaller roads are cut off and uh, really spectacular, spectacular thing uh, to witness Um, so, uh, my wildlife watching season usually starts in late, late winter, uh, end of February, early March, when we uh, start to offer uh, trips uh, for uh, uh, Stellar Siders, uh, featuring Stellar Siders, but for one of the key attractions for British birders to come to Estonia. Uh, but at the same time, uh, if you are a keen photographer, it's a very good time to photograph the uh, white-tailed eagles. Uh, our breeding population is 250 bears nowadays, which is amazing. Uh, there was only five bears in the early 80s, so they have really uh, built up the numbers. And you could see sometimes groups of 25, 30 in one place. So really really amazing um, and on the sea ice you might might see plenty of other stuff as well there's a seals gray seal ring seal um, and amongst the wintering sea ducks you see thousands of and thousands of uh, uh, long tailed ducks um, here is some late winter photos taken to uh, uh, top left there are some immatures, uh, white-tailed eagles uh, uh, coming to feed on the carcass uh, and adult on the, on the right hand side and below you can see some uh, seal activity. 
um, uh, best time to see wintering uh, Stella's Eiders. Two photos on the below is from late February to mid April. Uh, and especially March and early April is, is very good nowadays for for uh, Stella's Eiders because they come in the harbors. Uh, and sometimes I've seen them with the groups from 20 to 50 meters distance. So really, really amazing. Um, uh, and in the same time, you see hundreds and hundreds of plumped ducks. Um, this is all happening in Zarem Island on the on the western part of the of the country. And already while you are crossing to the to the island, you see just masses of long tail ducks lying around the ferry. Uh, uh, then uh, uh, around mid-March uh, comes first signs of the spring uh, uh, and this early spring season usually lasts until second week of April. Uh, this is when the owls start to call, the woodpeckers start drumming, the hazel hen start and the calling and black grouse start lecking um, and that's very good time if you want to combine the forest birding uh, and wintering stellar ciders uh, so this is re the most popular time nowadays for most birders to come um, and it's also uh, a very good time if you are a keen photographer because then you have uh, the sun is relatively low uh, so even in the middle of day you, you have very nice uh, light and sometimes uh, still some snow on the ground so nice reflections so really really uh, nice to nice uh, time to come uh, it's very good time for the owls here you can see uh, pictures of four different species uh, uh, on the left below is a great grey owl, which is very scarce species, so uh, <coughs> very very little chance that you uh, you see one on the on the birding tour. But occasionally they breed, while the other three are very realistic ones. The one looking out from the hole is a ten months owl, uh, one of the most nocturnal ones, uh, while uh, Ural owl and pygmy owl quite often you see. In very good light. Uh, uh, you allow usually prey dust uh, views, while pygmy owl can be out uh, just in the middle of the day. So they are pretty diurnal, really uh, nice uh, little ones. So uh, little owl is giant beast compared to the pygmy owl, really. Uh, I like the uh, angry look of the pygmy owl, really. Really attractive owl to see. Uh, and, and at the same time, uh, all the grouse activities at its peak. Um, um, loads of black grouse uh, lacking, uh, and in the same areas you have also uh, capricades. <coughs> so capricades in Estonia. It's it's far more easy to see capricades in Estonia than in Scotland. Uh, later in the season, everything builds up uh, in terms of uh, diversity, uh, more migrants, more species to see. Uh, so April, May is time for the mass spring migration. Uh, and especially if you want to see highest number of bird species, then second, third week of May is uh, time to come. Um, so uh, here is some examples what you might see during that time. Uh, nice uh, breeding plumages of rough on the coast of meadows. Uh, they do some display. Uh, uh, top right you can see corn crake, relatively common bird in Estonian uh, grasslands, but not so easy to see. So it takes some effort from a from the guides to, to show this species properly, but still uh, very possible species to see. To see. 
and there's some other uh, specialties of uh, Eastern Europe which are uh, uh, quite easy to find uh, in Estonia, uh, especially if you come in May. Uh, starting from the left, you have Crushed Nightingale, uh, Common Rose Winches, uh, Repressive Flycatcher, in the middle, Bard Warbler. They are quite common in my area, in West Estonia and on islands. And uh, Zipped and Backtail. Used to be relatively a rare bird 30 years ago, but now we have hundreds and hundreds of pairs and numbers are building up <coughs> each year. The main is a really attractive uh, backtail species to, to see. And very often they, they give really good views. Um, here are some mammals. Uh, for the mammals, the summertime uh, is really good because uh, uh, when it's uh, uh, light nights, uh, and as we all know, mammals, most of the mammals, tend to uh, move around when it's dark, but that's when uh, in midsummer. Uh, there's very few hours when it's really dark, so uh, mammals have, are forced to move around in very good light conditions. Uh, so this is the time to see brown bears and photograph the brown bears. And uh, we have also uh, some uh, Siberian flying squirrels uh, in the same area. We have a uh, stronghold of uh, uh, brown bear. Exist. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, uh, we have also lynxes and wolves. Uh, but for the uh, lynxes, the best season is not in, in summer, but in early spring they have, uh, when they have uh, mating season. And we have some snow on the, on the, under the forest, so it's easier to track them down and, and they are more possible to, to show. Uh, but summertime is also good if you want to watch or what, photograph the seals. Uh, uh, so both species, grey seal and brim seal, are possible in Estonia. Uh, and uh, ending our season uh, is in autumn, September and early October. Uh, autumn is very good uh, time to see be uh, moose bulls uh, because they they have a mating season and they really expose themselves uh, uh, on the meadows, especially in much of the national park, which is 20 uh, minutes drive from my home, um, and they are protected there, so they, they know that they are safe uh, and can be seen uh, relatively easily. At the same time, over 30,000 Grains come to roost in the same national park, while end of September, early October is the time to see the mass migration of uh, Arctic sea duck, which breed in uh, 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 northwest Russia, uh, and also to see the movement of passerines, finches, but even birds you would never think that they are migrants uh, if you live in the UK. Like you see thousands and thousands of gopress come flying through. Uh, you could see days with uh, those white headed, long tailed It's like you have 10,000 in one morning migrating. Great it's up to 20 to 40,000 in a day. So uh, I have had day with nearly 20,000 chains coming through, uh, 51,000 coatings. Those are just some sample figures, what you might uh, end up if you come in an in autumn tour. Uh, and later in the season, uh, we have several northern specialities. Uh, wax wings, uh, they are quite nice birds to photograph because they often come to feed in the towns uh, and quite tame. Same with the hawk owl. 
uh, one of the favorite owls for the photographers because they are diurnal uh, and they are very tame. So I have to speed up now, running out of time as usually. Uh, and here are some winter images uh, with, uh, with nice snowy forest and moose feet there, grey partridge. Uh, so coming to the end, here's rough calendar for mammals. So depending what you want to see, uh, it can be late winter, early spring if you want to see a lot of footprints and uh, have a nice lynx activity. It can be summertime for seals uh, or autumn for moose and for the birds. Forest birds, winter in Stellasitis, late winter, early spring, biggest diversity of species in May, and best migration in the autumn. So, thank you uh, for listening to me. Uh, so, you can ask all of these few questions here. You can follow me on Twitter, I have Birding Hub's Law account, or you can follow me to the stand. Uh, in Swallow Market, uh, I'll stand 77 and 78 for Estonia. So, um, thank you for listening. <laughs>